in Planet Side 2, there exists no other directives that has pushed so many people over the brink of madness. The Javelin Directive. The directive that was just not designed to be achievable by a mere mortal soul. It is the herald of rage quits, the butcher of KD ratio, and a testament that devs don't play their game. Because it is not doable, it is absurd, it's not fair, and millions of innocent lives are lost, all because of this atrocity of our directives. And this is all coming from a guy who finished Rocket Launcher directives without buying any Decimator reskins. Now, I've once known this one player who was crazy enough to attempt his javelin directives. He managed to get 666 skills on Celeste and never to be seen again. Because there's only so much sand you can drink before your mental explodes. Like you had to be a literal psychopath in order to complete this. And by psychopath, I don't mean like a regular run of the mill psychopath who locks Sandy so you die to an orbital strike. Or a kind of psychopath who urinates inside a swimming pool, like a teleporting Taurus. No, it is all the way down in this psychopath scale where you find these people through Oraxium Javelin. Their existence is a cosmic horror. Like I once told my viewer to go look up the Javelin Fisu leaderboard because he thought I was the crazy one. And one minute later, I am scared, says this profile picture. And that is how crazy this directive is. But I want to clarify that I am not saying that Javelin is the worst vehicle in the game. Between role playing and unrestricted submarine warfare in Osher and going full Vietnam mode in Hossin, it is actually fun. The default salamander can take on anything while Hydra can cheese infantry fights without being labeled as a dirty cheese. The problem is that in this directive there is no other option but the Oraxium other two weapons which are the most underwhelming things in the history of an industrial waste. One of which is Nest. Now on the surface, it is a very unique weapon that shoots the barrage of honing missiles, which on paper synergizes greatly with the javelin's mobility. Except it travels at 50 meters per second, so it would literally get outrun by a Tesla Cybertruck. It is unusable against half the vehicle in the game, and a stationary flash in particular, and if you try to maintain a safe distance from an enemy, Half the shots will miss due to deceiving corner fire and ends up doing zero damage. So to do any meaningful damage, you have to drive up to a road rage distance so all the shots can actually land, and pull some outplay maneuvers so you can keep juking enemy shots, and still die because the time to kill is like one whole minute. Now I have to leave the nastiest of the criticisms for the next weapon, but it is still bad. Like why? Why can't a toxic one trick buggy two creep a tank while all the javelin get is this bundle of firework sticks that barely scratches the armor? But more importantly though, how are there people getting thousands of kills with it according to Fisu? These people are a menace to a society. So if you see any of them, evacuate the continent immediately. For your safety. But unfortunately, even Ness could be considered usable in the Javelin standard. Because there exists the Celeste, the Portico Projector, that is supposed to be devastating. Devastating to your wheels to play this game. It has the same 50 meter per second speed of Ness, but this time it is completely unguided. It has an insane gravity drop, coupled up with everyone's favorite mechanics, delay fire, so that your shots will miss due to terrain bumps. It has twice the reload speed of flash weapons to rarely punish these missed shots, and the damage is split between two shots, so you will always miss the second one. Like what kind of Soltec aim assist users did devs design this weapon for? because firing this weapon feels like tossing a baseball from a bicycle. And of course, even if you somehow land these shots by channeling all your mental power, 
and you touch the enemy shot with all your might, it still gets out repaired by a repair bus. I genuinely don't understand how it is ever possible to overaxium this weapon without punching a hole in your monitor. But of course, if you check Fisu, there are creatures who has done it. And to this day, I am haunted by their existence. That is why, if you encounter any of them, out F4 immediately for your sanity. So these are the reasons it is humanly impossible to complete the javelin directive. But then still, I do still love javelin as a vehicle, and I really want that Oraxium trim. And so I started grinding. But how? Only by overclocking the javelin. Know your place, trash. <laughs>